Hey everyone, today's video is going to be my unread bookshelf tour. You're going to hear my dog and see her, just letting you know. But I have a lot of books that, you know, I haven't read yet, and I have them um, in a specific place. So I figured I would show them to you, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You can't get more, like, in-depth than that. Um, so I hope you like this, and, uh... Yeah, let, let's do this. First, I will show you an overview, and here is my main... This is the bookshelf for all my to-be-reads go. And on top of my DVD shelf, I have my other unreads over here, which I'll start off with those, and then a small pile that I need to unhaul. So on top of my DVD shelf, I have probably the prettier of my unread books, and these are the ones I'm most excited to read, and I have The Greatest Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This has four novels and 44 short stories. The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry, which has The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. The Shadow Hunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis. Clockwork Angel. Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Princess, and City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare. And I have the Ness Antico Cycle by S.L. Farrell, which consists of A Magic of Twilight, a Magic of Nightfall, and A Magic of Dawn. And then we have the first shelf in my bookshelf, which has some DVDs that did not finish, did not finish, did not fit on my DVD shelf, and I don't know why, but I have my Titanic VHS out here. So, and then the rest are books. These are my mass paperbacks, and this section right here is where I put my unhauled um, books of the month. So you guys are going to get a sneak peek for this month. Flowers in the Attic and Petals on the Wind by V.C. Andrews. Kill Bin Laden by John Wiseman. Arrow Path by R. Scott Baker. Queen 13 and Fearless 14 by Janet Ivanovich. Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stefan Chabowski. Abraham Lincoln, The Vampire Slayer by Seth Graham Smith. One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich. Something Borrowed by Emily Griffin. Julie and Julia by Julie Powell. All on Hager's Children by Edward P. Jones. City of Ice by Lawrence Yep. Well of Sorrows by Benjamin Tate. Alice Bliss by Laura Harrington. Shadows Bright as Glass by Amy Ellis Nutt. Explosive 18 by Janet Ivanovich. As you can tell, I'm trying to get all the books. Um, I kind of have these separated by color. So over here are all the blacks. It goes into a couple browns, which is really just one. And then I have my, like, whites and off-whites over here. So let's just get started with the black side. Beautiful Malice by Rebecca James. Dry Ice by Bill Evans and Mariana Jameson. The Wreckage by Michael Robotham. Deadfall by Robert Liparulo. It by Stephen King. It does not have a supporter. Time Weaver by Shana Abe. Truth or Dare, 20 Tales of Heartbreak and Happiness by 20 different authors I will not name. Taints in the Blood by S.M. Sterling, the first book and the Shadow Spawn trilogy, I want to say. Natural Selection by Dave Friedman. Elegy for April by Benjamin Black. Storm Damage by Ed Kovacs. Crimes by Moonlight, uh, which is a bunch of, like, dark stories, mysteries from the dark side. Edited by Charlene Harris with a bunch of authors. Vampire Diaries Volume 3, The Craving. Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. This Wicked World by Richard Lange. Dark Lady by Richard North Patterson. The Girl Who Could Speak for the Dead by Paul Elwerk. Absolute Friends by John Le Carré. Hades, the second book in the Halo trilogy, I believe, by Alexandra Adornetto. Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Ego Boom. Why the World Really Does Revolve Around You by Steve Make and Leanne George. The Lovers by Vandela Vida. Lenore and Park by Rainbow Rowell. John Green's An Abundance of Catherines. Michael J. Fox, A Funny Thing Happens on the Way to the Future. Lucifer's Tears by James Thompson. The Summer I Turned Pretty Trilogy by Jenny Han, which consists of The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer. Tana French's A Faithful Place, part of the Dublin Grime 
series. I don't remember. I don't know the name of the series, but it is part of a series. Come and Find Me by Haley Efron. People's Act of Love by James Meek. Spoon Fed, How Eight Cookies Saved My Life, a memoir by Kim Severson. Wicked, Gregory Maguire, probably the oldest book on my TBR. Like, it's been here for years. The Zeros, My Misadventures in the Decade Wall Street Went Insane, ran by Randall Lane. The Day the Falls Stood Still, a novel by Kathy Marie Buchanan. The Water Seeker by Kimberly Willis Holt. And my last bookshelf, which has the starting, I have one cream colored, blues, greens, whatever, purples, oranges, reds, and random books. That's what it looks like. And that is my TBR list, which I will start using very soon. As you can tell, it has a lot of pieces of paper. The Leaper by Jeffrey Wood. Cold's Light by Jen Ashworth. Revolver by Marcus Sedgwick. Do Not Judge Me, Snooky, uh, which is Gorilla Beach. I might unhaul this. I was given this. And I like was like, sure, I'll take it, just because it's. I was kind of in love with Jersey Shore then. But um, I might read this or I might unhaul it. I haven't decided yet. One I'm actually very excited to read is The Overton Window by uh, by um, Glenn Beck. Yet another Janet Ivanovich book, Sizzling 16. Daniel Palmer's Delirious. Dead Father's Club by Matt Haig. Russian Winter by Daphne Colate. Eventide by Kent Haruf. Missing... Soluch, Soluk, I think, by Mohamed Dawlatadabi. Withering Heights by Emily Bronte. First two books in the Wicked series, which has Witch and Curse by Nancy Holder and Debbie Big. War of the Witches by Maite Caranza. Brain on Fire by Susanna Callahan. Callahan, never mind. Substitute Me by L'Oreal Tharps. Hot Time in the Old Town by Edward P. Kahn. Okay, let's go into these books really quickly. Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm by Kate Douglas Wiggin. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. The Story of Dr. Doolittle by Hugh Lofting. Storybook by Rudyard Kipling. The Wind in the Willow by Kenneth Graham. The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. The Little Princess also by Frances Hodgson Burnett. The Paper Chase. True Stories of Vanished Times by Harold Evans. Diary of a Teenage Girl Becoming Me by Melody Carlson. The Poison Tree by Aaron Kelly. Public Enemies by Brian Burrow. The House of the Scorpion by Nancy Farmer. The Wager by Donna Jo Napoli. This freaking cover is twisted, but gangsta. I love it. Dracula, The Undead, the sequel to the original classic by Dicker Stoker and Ian Hold. Dacre or Daker, I don't know. Atonement by Ian McEwen. So that is my unread bookshelf um, and books. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of complicated to film just because it's really low to the ground and in a smaller area. I'm, you know, yeah. So in the future, I will do my official bookshelf tour, but I don't, I don't know. I want to add more books to that bookshelf. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.